Welcome back to my channel, Homebodies. My name's Amy, and this is Chipper. Say hi. I'm so excited because it is almost May. And what that means in my house is it's time to take out the summer decorations and put away the Easter decorations. So last week I put away a lot of my Easter decorations. I did it a little early. Usually I leave them up till May 1st. Um, this year though, I'd started taking them down the last week of April, but I still have my Easter tree up. So I need to take that down today and pack it away. And then I'm going to take out my summer decoration, but I'm going to clean first. So that's the plan. And it might take over a couple days over this weekend to get the cleaning done. And then all the summer decorations up so if I have to take a few days to do it I will do that I do have a lot of work going on for school right now because I'm teaching so in between that work this weekend I'll also start summering up my home all right there's something big that I changed in my living room this week and I've been thinking about doing it for a long long time we've been living here this will be three years almost exactly three years that we bought this house. All right, I'm gonna show you the living room. I'm gonna pan the living room. And so for those of you who are, who have subscribed and watched other channels, try to guess what is different. It's not decor. It's not like the fact that I took Easter stuff down. It's something big. All right, here we go. Get ready. Let's see who can guess the change that I made in the living room. What, do you know? Do you know what changed? I know you know. All right, here we go. turning around what we did was we decided to take those shades off all of the living room windows I'll put some pictures up of what the room looked like with the shades and then you can compare to what it looks like now all the window shades in here have been taken down I've been thinking about this for over a year. The, for, the previous owners left all the shades on this first floor for us. And they seemed custom. Like I've never seen shades like that before. So obviously they had them ordered and they, they seem, to me they seemed like custom shades. Um, you know, the, for, the previous owners did put a lot of money into not only building this house, but decorating this house. So the previous owners moved, um, the husband it was a married couple that owned this house and the husband passed away. So the wife was downsizing and when she left, she, I think she did have an estate sale, but she left boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff for me. She also left big pieces of furniture, which I've mentioned in other videos because she was downsizing and she just didn't want to take stuff and she didn't want to be bothered with it. So we got a lot of amazing vintage you know, I I mean, I can't even tell you how many things that she left of good vintage um, antiques, furniture, and window coverings. And so, you know, these window coverings, they weren't antiques. They were definitely something that she had made. So I left them up for three years. For the past year, I've been thinking that um, they seem to block a lot of light. And they were kind of blocking the view, the beautiful view of the Catskill Mountains. So I've been thinking I should really take those down. I should really take them down. I don't really like them up anymore. So one morning, on a whim, I told Joe, I want to take all these shades down. I don't think I want shades in here. So I told Joe, I don't, want, I don't think I want shades in here. And so he just started taking them down for me. 
So it, we took one, two, three, four, five, six, six window shades down. So yeah, so they're all gone. I put them away. I didn't want to give them away or throw them out because what if I change my mind and decide to put them back up someday? So I, I just stored them in the window seat over there. So they're here. Um, I did leave the window shades up in the dining room. Let me show you. Okay, this is my dining room, as I've shown you before in many other tours. All right, you'll notice I did leave the shades up in the dining room, and there's a reason for that. I'm going to show you at the front window, and I'll show you why I'm leaving these shades up. All right, this is the front. This dining room faces the front of our house, and you can see there's a house across the street, a red house. Right in front of that house is the, is the road, the street. So the street is a little bit elevated above our house. And when you drive by, you can see our house from the street. So I wanted a little bit of privacy from the road. So if people are driving by and I'm sitting in here having dinner, they're not, we're not putting on a show for the neighbors. So that's why I'm going to leave the shades up in this room. Uh, plus, I think they, they look nice with my, you know, with my china hutch but I'm going to leave them up here. So these shades I'm going to keep for now. All the other shades are gone. And it really does make a difference. I have noticed that during the day, this room is so much brighter with the shades not covering half the windows. So I'm really pleased with how it looks and it really, really, really makes the room much brighter. My plant is happier because more sunlight's coming in for my plant. And honestly, I just think you can just, it, it just, the windows look bigger and you can see the beautiful Catskill Mountain view out the windows now. Oh, look who decided to eat his bone. Right where mommy was talking. You're so silly, Chippy. Let me know in the comments what you think about taking down the shades. Um, do you think it looks better? Did you like the shades up? Let me know, but I think it looks brighter and I can now see when I sit in this chair I can see the mountain out that window Which was obscured a lot by a lot of the shade before I Think chipper approves he says that he absolutely loves the decorations. I've done in this house right is mommy a good decorator? Am I a good decorator? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so right now, I'm going to take down my Easter tree. <laughs> By the way, my voice is a little hoarse. Joe and I are getting over colds. We got a spring cold last week. So, slowly but surely, I'm feeling better. But this was a, last weekend wasn't good. All right, so I bought a box to store the tree in and the tree skirt and whatever else I can find that's still out. I think most of my Easter stuff's put away now, though. And then I'm going to clean the house, and then after I do some cleaning, then I'm going to pull out my summer decorations. So it might be tomorrow that I actually do the summer decorating. But I have some nice things for the living room to brighten things up a little bit more. All right, so let's put the Easter tree away. That's mission number one. So let's go put the, the Easter tree away. And then after I put the Easter tree away, then I'm going to do a little cleaning around the house. And then I think tomorrow, it's getting late now. Tomorrow in the morning, I'll get up. I'll pull all my summer stuff out. And we will decorate the house for summer. Summer is coming. All right, so let's get that tree down.
Welcome to the next day. <laughs> We're still in the weekend. These pretty flowers my son gave me. Aren't they beautiful? I thought they would look nice in the kitchen on my butcher block table. All right, it is a very rainy day today in the Catskills and actually the whole weekend's gonna be a washout, but that's okay because inside it's gonna be summertime and sunny and bright. Let me show you outside though. It's raining and it's a little bit windy, but you can see all of the green is filling in on the mountain. The grass has turned green. The little baby leaves are coming out now. You can kind of see it happening. And the rain will bring the flowers. The plan for today. So let me fill you in on what I'm doing. I'm gonna be tackling the dining room today. So let's go in the dining room and I'll show you my plan. Here comes the boss. There he is, there's the boss. Hi boss. You gonna supervise? Okay. All right, so, um, I've shown you this dining room before. <laughs> I showed it to you before yesterday. The plan for the dining room is to do my spring cleaning. I'm gonna be taking everything out of this cabinet and everything out of the hutch. I'm gonna be dusting it all, and I'm gonna be dusting the shelves in there. Okay, so I have a mixture of my crystal glasses and some of my Wedgwood China is mixed in this hutch along with some Hummels. And my Mink Bear, which is down there, which I got in the 80s from my parents. This is how I handle cleaning my dining room. I don't empty these cabinets and, and hutch every week. This is a twice a year project because it takes time. And I don't really have time to do this more often than, at one, than twice a year. I do a full dusting in this dining room in the fall when I'm doing my fall decorations and in the spring. And other than that, it really doesn't need to be done. I mean, it could be done every month, but I'm not doing it every month because I have a job. So I'm not, I don't have time. Now that, this cabinet over here is sealed pretty well. So it doesn't get really that dusty. It takes about six months for it to get really, really dusty in there. So it's about time for me to dust it. Uh, so I definitely need to get my glass cleaner out because these shelves in here are glass. Um, I'm going to be using my furniture dust cleaner here because this is wood. And I'm going to be wiping down all of my china. And again, I do this twice a year. And this is my springtime dusting of the dining room. I guess Chipper is gonna supervise. What, what are you doing? What's happening? You gonna supervise me? Okay. Or did you just bring your toy here to keep me company while I get this done? I pulled out a lot of my summer decor. I don't really have a lot of summer decor, but I'm gonna be putting some of this stuff up on the fireplace. So this is an outdoor flag. I have a little garden flag out by my front door. I'm gonna put this out little summer summertime blue and yellow flag these are gonna go in this crystal bowl I have a couple banners I have a summer banner I'm gonna put on my fireplace and then I have the my strawberry banner I'm gonna put in the kitchen and then I have this little guy these are gonna go I usually I like to have a yellow theme in my living room yellow and I mean, obviously there's other colors in my living room like blue, but I like to put a little bit more yellow in my living room to brighten things up for the summer. So that's why I have like bees. These are bee, little bee. Okay, so I've also put a few other things around that I'll show you. Oh, Chipper left me. All right, I'm gonna get my cleaners out. I'm gonna start taking everything down, wiping it down, and then we'll put up our summer decorations on this rainy day in the Catskills.
so this is the contents of one shelf that I just emptied in. I dusted all this stuff with a plain towel. Now I'm going to clean the glass. So I have to clean the glass and the mirror. And then I will put everything back on the top shelf and then I'm going to empty the next shelf. So I'm going to do shelf by shelf. That helps me not get mixed up as to how it looked before I emptied it all. Okay, my biannual task is complete. It took me about a half an hour total to dust this cabinet and the china hutch behind me. But again, I'm not gonna do it again till August, so this'll hold off. I'm gonna dust some of the things on these shelves here. 
that I also really don't dust much in between <laughs> summer and fall. <laughs> As I've mentioned in earlier videos, these are old wine boxes. That the previous owners had installed as shelves. And I think it's, I just love it. I want to keep it this way. So you'll see some of them have their wine mark on them still. That one says 1995 on it. Ornelia Bulgari. 12 bottles of Italian wine. I don't know what half these brands are. Joe and I don't really like wine. <laughs> but I do think it looks nice in this corner to have like all these different shelves, these old wine boxes. And another place to put some of my extra china and some of the other pretty things that I have like candlesticks. <laughs>
never fails. The hardest part of decorating for any season is hanging up a banner here. It never goes smoothly. This is my strawberry banner that I put up in the summer, and that's gonna stay up until August, end of August. And then we're gonna transition into Halloween. All right, let me show you what I made for dinner tonight because I knew I was gonna be busy with schoolwork and with decorating for summer today. I decided to make a quick crock pot recipe in the morning. So I defrosted about five small chicken breasts and I bought some verde sauce, Mexican sauce. I put in a can of mild green chilies. I put one chopped jalapeno pepper without the seeds and a little bit of garlic, onion, and green pepper. And I'm, I set it to cook for seven and a half hours. So I did it this morning on low. It has three and a half hours left. And so when this is done, I'm going to shred the chicken and we're going to eat it with tortillas, chopped tomatoes, a little bit of sour cream, maybe some cheese. And so we're having Mexican delight. I kind of threw this recipe together. I didn't really get this recipe from anywhere. I just decided to go with a green themed dinner. <laughs> So that's dinner tonight, and that's gonna be easy. It'll be ready at dinner time. I did it this morning, it took me, oh, I put a little bit of um, cumin flavoring in there. Black pepper, I didn't really put a lot of seasonings in it though, so I, I did put a little bit of cumin and black pepper, and that's it, I didn't even put salt in it, because there's salt in the sauce that I put in there. So that's dinner. I have my living room ready for summer. Let me show you, let me give you a little tour of the living room. I have my little bee plant decoration. I have my wax warmer and my little cactus candles I got for my birthday last year from my friend. I always leave my church out, that's out all year. I have my summer flowers. I decided to leave this blanket on the couch for summer. I decided to go with a blue and green and yellow theme in here. I have a yellow candle over there on that table. And then here I just put out some little blue accent decoration. All right, let me just show you guys my kitchen really quick on this rainy weekend afternoon. So this is my... This was my uncle's chair. I've featured it in many other videos. I bought a brown flower pillow for it to accent it. I thought that that would be good for this, not only for the summer, but also going into the fall season. So I'm probably gonna leave that out until Thanksgiving weekend. As far as my kitchen table goes, I bought that runner a few years ago. It kind of looks like wood, red wood. And I think it looks pretty with my apple candlestick accent. This is vintage from Italy. And my candlesticks. I decided to go with the burgundy candles, which I usually keep out around Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then I have another little, this is another crystal bowl I got for my wedding with my little Easter, I mean my little spring Snoopy. And those are also a little bit of, you know, spring decor. So that's my kitchen table decor for the summer. Pretty simple. I really like the red accents in my kitchen. Well, I'm gonna wrap up this video here, but thank you to the subscribers who have joined me on this summer decoration video. I hope that you guys are preparing your homes for the new season and enjoying all of your weekends. So that's where I'll leave this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.